Hello, I'm Shadow Raccoon, and today I'm going to be looking at something a bit different. Uh, so I was clearing out my house and moving the last week or so, and I came across a couple of fursuit heads. Um, <laughs> these are, um, yeah, this is going to be a bit special. So I thought we'd take a look at that time I tried to make a fursuit head. So yeah, this actually goes back to before I was even in the fandom, and I was part of the cosplay community. I used to be Sly Cooper, um, and yeah, to be honest with you, I always wanted to be a furry, really. Um, I was just kind of looking for an excuse to wear sort of like a fursuit and kind of not have some not very nice friends laugh at me. Um, thankfully, obviously, you know, I've got past that, and you know, as you can see now, um, yeah, much furrier. But, you know... I thought I'd take a moment to show you just what I made. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce everyone to original Sly Cooper, my first raccoon head. Yeah, you're probably sitting there laughing at this right now. I am, internally. This is hilarious. Look, it's squishy. Um, yeah, as you can see, I didn't use fur. So does this even count as a fursuit? I don't know. Um, yeah, he's got this horrible muzzle here. Um, but basically, I followed a bunch of online guides here. I got a load of foam, spent a couple of weeks at a mate's, and we just bashed this out. And we used felt instead of fur, so you've got the horrible lines, although because I was Sly Cooper, you kind of get away with it because cell shading and things. Um, we used like red felt here. Uh, the vision is atrocious on this one because we cut piles in some plastic card and used something called chiffon which is a terrible material to make fursuit eyes out of, so don't do that. Um, it's quite a tight fit on me because we used like cheap balaclava. It gets very hot and I won't lie, I had a lot of fun at MCM Expo as Sly Cooper. I got some really nice comments from it, but honestly, deep down inside, I was actually always a little embarrassed about how bad this looked. So when I got the moment, I ditched that head and went for one slightly better. Meet Sly Cooper Mark II, my first actual fursuit head. So, as we can see, we've now got some fur on it. Not amazing fur, because believe it or not, the first thing I did was put the fur on the wrong way round. And I had to cut all of the fur off. I didn't follow the instructions right, I didn't ask anyone for help, which I really should have. And yeah, put the fur on round the wrong way. The, you can actually still see this in the ears, because I didn't fix the ears, because I really couldn't be bothered. But as far as the fursuit head went, it worked out okay. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of foam on the top, in case you're wondering why that existed. That's to keep the hat on for Sly Cooper. <laughs> um, yeah, so it fit unsightly. If the hat was around the right way, you can't actually see it. But I got lots of really good feedback on this. And at this point, where I, I kind of started to become an actual furry, and met some people, um, in fact, my other half, Theodore Rabbit, who actually turned me into a furry. <laughs> um, well, they brought me into it, they didn't really turn me into it. Um, and yeah, so th this was pretty much my fursuit head as well, when I first joined the furry fandom. Um, I called it Slybrid, because it's a hybrid of Sly Cooper and Chateau. I changed the hat to like a black one, so it didn't look so much like Sly. And yeah, there's a few photos floating around, because I went to like one London Furs meet, I think, and a Southampton meet with this. And yeah, um... But again, I made this. This is my first sort of actual furry head, and the one before was a head as well. And you know what? It served me. And I know it's a bit of a joke, and I know I laugh at it, and I can pick holes in this all day. But it did me really well, and it got me into the fandom. And I think the real point of these, and why I'm doing this video, is just to say there's nothing wrong with trying to do it yourself if you've got no other options, or you really do want to. Don't give up, don't quit, there's lots of guys online. I'm pretty sure anyone can make something better than this. Um, and to be honest with you, even if you did make something that looks like this, don't be embarrassed of it. Don't feel like you can't go out and suit in it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Being in the fandom, you don't need a fursuit. If you want a fursuit and you make your own and it looks like this, that's awesome too. You've got a fursuit. Just enjoy yourself and have a lot of fun. And obviously, I mean, you know, I, I can now compare history. And I think, I think you can all see how it began and how it is now. And we can all look back and say, wow. But you know what? I didn't have access to a fursuit when I made this. So, you know, at least I had something then. 
So yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief history of my beginnings in the fandom. I'm probably going to go into that in a little bit more detail in a later video. And if you want to see that and lots of other stuff that I put up pretty much every week, please click that subscribe button below and join me on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And, you know, if you want to have a laugh or whatever, just stick something in the comments below. I'll check that one out for sure. Um, I'm Shadow Raccoon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!